Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to talk about silent shutter in your Olympus OMD cameras. Let's do this. I will start by explaining what silent shutter is, why is it important in your digital camera, when you should use it, and when you should not be using silent shutter. Silent shutter is also known as electronic shutter. Before I can explain what electronic shutter means, I need to explain what shutter is. Please bear with me, some people may not even understand what shutter is, especially newcomers to photography. Shut is an English word, it simply means close. When I say shut the door, it means close the door. Shut your mouth, close your mouth. Shutter in a camera is simply a mechanism that opens and closes. Shutter is situated right in front of the image sensor. Its purpose is to allow or prevent light from coming into the camera. By controlling the duration of time the shutter remains open, we control the exposure that comes into the camera. The duration of time is also known as shutter speed. Shutter speed is a crucial component that controls exposure in the camera alongside aperture and ISO. Traditionally, shutter is a physical moving part. It is a physical mechanical part that slides opens and closes because of its physical mechanical nature there are a lot of limitations that is imposed on the camera on what the shutter can do electronic shutter simply means there are no moving parts electronic shutter means that we are replacing this physical moving parts of opening and closing of the shutter we get rid of that we don't have any moving parts at all it's just that image sensor being turned on and off by removing any physical moving components from the shutter mechanism we can break a lot of limitations and we can definitely push a lot of imaging boundaries. Why is electronic shutter important? I personally believe that electronic shutter is the future. The camera manufacturers, including Olympus, have been pushing what the electronic shutter can do in their cameras. Olympus has broken the speed limit with the Olympus OMD cameras, the EM1X, the EM1 Mark III. These cameras can capture up to 60 frames per second in burst sequential shooting mode. I'm talking about full raw capture, 60 frames per second. That is pure speed, only made possible with electronic shutter by removing any physical moving parts of the traditional mechanical shutter. Besides speed, Olympus has also implemented a lot of very creative computational photography using electronic shutter. For example, high res shot, both the tripod and the handheld mode. It is basically electronic shutter capturing multiple images at a quick succession at the different positions of the image sensor being moved and being composited into one final high resolution shot. Only possible with electronic shutter. Live composite, the additive blending of multiple images done live while the electronic shutter is being opened and closed continuously to create the live simulation effect. Here is where you can find the silent shutter in your Olympus OMD cameras. Typically for most cameras, you can access it from super control panel. You can press OK to access that. And here is the drive mode. The drive mode is here. All you have to do is just find silent. Uh, there is a heart shape. Heart shape means silent. I don't know why Olympus decides heart uh, or connects heart to silent. Once you have done this, you have already activated. If you are using an Olympus EM1 series, like this is the EM1 Mark II, then there is a drive mode shortcut. Uh, the button is right at the top here, the top left corner. Press this button, you will activate that same menu that I've just showed you. If I press that, I will also come to this menu turning the back dial will change the drive mode so change it to silent shutter or any other modes that you wish 
if you are using EPL9 or EM10 Mark III specifically, you have to go to the AP mode on the mode dial, turn the mode dial to AP for advanced photo, then from there you can select the mode silent shutter. One of the frequently asked questions was, hey Robin, since electronic shutter is so amazing, can I use it all the time? Can I just leave it as a default shutter mode for the camera, silent shutter? Well, the answer is both yes and no. Please do bear with me for a little bit. Now, silent shutter is incredible. It is one feature that I would encourage people to use, but you do have to be extra careful. There are some situations when the electronic shutter can work against you. Now, let's start by looking into the situations where you should not be using the silent shutter in your Olympus camera. Number one, in low light, high ISO shooting. If you are dealing constantly with low light, especially you're shooting in very, very, very dim condition, you have to push your ISO to very high numbers, say ISO 6400 or beyond. This is when you should be using the mechanical shutter. By using the electronic shutter or silent shutter, it will introduce more noise into your image and there will be some color cast, which will be very difficult to correct or edit in post-processing. So in very, very dim lighting conditions, I really highly recommend do not use silent shutter. The second situation is shooting fast moving objects. If your subject moves extremely fast, there is a chance that you will suffer a jello effect. This is very, very common for any electronic shutter because the electronic shutter does not shut everything entirely. It will shut line by line. By closing the pixels line by line at certain speeds, it will not be able to capture an extremely fast moving object, freezing it in motion. Hence, your image will be stretched and there'll be some distorted look, especially if you have lines in your image, your image will appear a little bit unnatural in the final result. So if you're dealing with extremely fast moving subjects, I still highly recommend that you stick with mechanical shutter. Situation number three, shooting under artificial light. If you're dealing with LED light or fluorescent light, and if you need to use very fast shutter speed shooting with electronic shutter, there is a very high chance that you will get bending in your images. Bending effect can be destructive to your final images and they cannot be corrected easily in post-processing. I would highly recommend that you change your shutter speed, vary it accordingly, do some trial and error to see which shutter speed works for that situation to minimize the bending effect. Situation number four, shooting with flash using electronic shutter. If you're not aware, electronic shutter will impose flash sync limit if you need to shoot with flash. The sync limit varies from camera to camera. Most newer Olympus cameras, such as the EM1 Mark III, EM1X, will have the sync limit of one over 60th of a second. Older Olympus cameras such as EM5 Mark II or the Pan F will have the sync limit of 1 over 20th of a second. 1 over 20th of a second shutter speed can be quite limiting in some shooting scenarios. So you have to be aware of this and take this into consideration in your photography. So when is it a good time to use silent shutter? Obviously, the first situation will be when you need perfect silence. There are shooting scenarios where pin drop silence is required. Just that tiny clacking sound of your shutter is sufficient to cause a problem. For example, shooting in a golf course or a piano recital or a theater play where it requires the actors on stage to throw their voice during conversations. And the sound of the shutter clicking, I think you will be the main problem in that particular situation. Hence, having silent shutter can be a lifesaver in such situations where otherwise you can't be using your camera. The second scenario will be when you need to break the shutter speed limit. 
The mechanical shutter speed limit for Olympus cameras are capped at one over 8,000th of a second for high-end cameras such as E1X, E1 Mark II, E1 Mark III, and it is at one over 4,000th of a second for lower-end cameras such as the EM10 series or the Pen Light series. Turning the silent shutter on will allow you to go much higher shutter speed. For the high-end cameras, you can go as fast as 1 over 32 thousandth of a second. For lower-end cameras such as the EPL9 or the EM10 series, you can go up to 1 over 16 thousandth of a second. This is very important. I'll give you one situation where say you want to use a bright aperture lens, Olympus 45 1.8 or even a f1.2 lens under bright sunlight and you still want to shoot a bright open f1.8 or f1.2 to you know to get that creamy dreamy blurry background bokeh without over exposing your image situation number three for absolute speed now this is different from shutter speed shutter speed is for one singular image but I'm talking about burst sequential shooting. I've touched this earlier when I talk about the benefits of using electronic shutter. The camera allows you to go up to 60 frames per second. This can allow for some really creative shooting. Also allow you to capture that particular critical moment if you need to nail some decisive moment in your shots. I forgot to mention earlier during the benefits of electronic shutter and how Olympus push electronic shutter to benefit the advancement of the OMD camera's technology. Pro capture mode was an electronic shutter implementation. Without needing the shutter to open and close, there's no moving mechanisms, the camera, the image sensor can already start taking images before you decide to take a photograph. Pro capture mode is one example where we can see why silent shutter or electronic shutter is the future. Situation number four, prolonging the camera's shutter life. The traditional mechanical shutter, like any other moving mechanical parts, will fail eventually after an amount or certain duration of use. This is normal. There is a shutter rating for all Olympus cameras. For high-end cameras such as the EM1X or EM1 Mark III, the shutter life is rated at about 400,000 actuations. It is much lower in the lower-end Olympus cameras. Therefore, there is a life limit to the physical mechanical shutter in your camera. One way to get around that is to use electronic shutter. It is such a simple solution. For people who use the camera heavily, for example, the time-lapse shooter when you go easily thousands of shutter clicks every single time you go out, therefore it makes more sense if you use silent shutter for your time-lapse shooting. That's all I have to share about silent shutter or electronic shutter in your Olympus OMD cameras. I can see that the future is the electronic shutter, but I also admit that currently there are still some limitations, but trust me, sooner or later, the camera companies are going to figure out how to work around the limitations, or they're gonna release the global shutter, which will eventually fully replace the traditional mechanical moving shutter. Until then, we have a choice of using the mechanical traditional shutter or the silent shutter. Choice is not a bad thing and I share it with you in what situations you should use and you should not be using the silent shutter. If you have found this sharing useful, please buy me a cup of coffee. I'll leave the link to how you can do that or you can also contribute to my PayPal directly if you prefer to do so. The links are in the descriptions below. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already done so. And I will definitely make more videos like this coming this way. And I'll see you again in the next one. Until then, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.